Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing part two of Doki Doki Literature Club. I know it's been a while since I last played this game. I think it was like over a month ago. I kind of already forgot what happened. So <laughs> let's make, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media links down below. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so apparently we had read a girl named Yuki's poem, which was back in my old episode, part one. And I couldn't read through that. It was all in cursive and I, <laughs> I'm not about to do all that. I had skimmed through it. Hopefully y'all probably could read it. If y'all couldn't, I couldn't either. So let's go ahead and read it's another poem. We're going to read Sayori's poem. Oh, there she go being quiet again. Oh my goodness. This is so good, Cece. Eh? I love it. I had no idea you were a good writer. Sayori, you must be seriously overacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even Asuki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh. Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of pe other people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a CC poem. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention is that my character's name is CC. It's my nickname. And I didn't know it was a guy at the time. So I'm like, wait a minute. That's when Nasuki was like, you brought a boy into the club? I'm like, wait a minute. That's a boy? I didn't know that. <laughs> so you're going to have a guy named CC in the game. so And that makes it feel extra special. Like I could feel your feelings into it. Oh. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in this club room. Eh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Cece. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Try new things like this for other people. That's something that only good, really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. Not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Oh, he got a crush? Okay. Know how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. I can tell. <laughs> You're talking too much. You're stalling. <laughs> we'll see about that. Finally! Oh, it is, it's in good handwriting. I can read it. <laughs> Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through your blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's like a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Okay? Sayori. This is, this is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit or to a yes or a no question. <laughs> I forgot to do it last night. See? Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yes. I didn't mean to say that the poem was bad. It came out nice, or should I put it... It just sounds just like you. Really? Yeah, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. That reminds me, I haven't ate yet. And I, I'm, I'm recording this like real early in the morning too, so I'm hungry. Even though you were late to school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I'll get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. 
Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write that best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Okay, whose poem should I read next? They keep pushing towards Monica, like, like ain't y'all gonna applaud y'all selves for y'all good work, even though I didn't read some of them. <laughs> I'm gonna say Monica for last. Let me read you. Oh, there she go being quiet. You just gonna sit here and look at each other? Okay. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. Oh, first of all, um, Nasuki rereads my poem. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Well, damn. Oh, man. Then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. You, you, in fact, remember when I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel more comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Is she good? Is she all right? She look constipated. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. Well, damn. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Hi, huh? well, it's not that great, but let me show you how a real literature looks like. What? Well, let me show you what a real literature looks like. Oh. I can't read. <laughs> you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. What did I do? Is it because I'm a boy? In the game? <laughs> so, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Nasuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Huh? Whoa. <laughs> y y you're so... You just, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to do, you don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're, uh, like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I said that mostly to myself. Nasuki must really hate me or something. That's what I'm thinking. Like, why does she hate you so much? I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? I mean, it's all wrong. <laughs> Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Oh? Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets, crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Trees can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. That's it? Okay. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated, sophisticated and stuff. Oh my god, I cannot, I cannot talk. <laughs> Those people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing styles wouldn't make your message any less v valid. Oh my god. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. I don't understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the word play. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then it made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. Y'all yeah, sure like talking about y'all feelings. So you did? I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. Oh, now you want to compliment yourself. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. 
I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki's feelings proud, then I won't take that away from her. Yeah, just avoid that. Who should I read next? Oh, God. Okay, Monica, fine, fine. Hi, Cece. <laughs> Having a good time so far? Not really. Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have a suggestion for the club, like new activities or things you can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Can I read your poem now? Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much more better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, ooh, that's her cutting me off. Want to share your poem with me? Finally. It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Cece. We're all a little bit embarrassed today, you know? But it's just that sort of barrier that we all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Uh, well... We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm, what's she thinking? Well, that may be the case. But maybe there's also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. Like what? The way she talks about you. Oh, she asked my question. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I think that's kind of the vibe I get when I'm reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Can I read your poem, girl? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing is kind of gentle feel to it. I can tell she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew, so who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, the teacher's own. You shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable about doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. Can I read the girl poem? That's the best way to find the style of you that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So you don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Thank you, finally. Don't worry, I'm not very good. Why are you always down yourself, too? You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. See? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the case. I have sound different. Confident, I mean. It doesn't mean I feel that way, you know? My phone keep going off. Oh. It doesn't mean I... Well, I already read that. I see. Well, let's read it then. Finally. Hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. It couldn't have been me. <laughs> see? The direction the sparkle protrudes? What? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer outside. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left in the, out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless, meaningless image. Just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. <laughs> it was too deep. Stretching flower over everything. A hole of infinity choices. Infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Okay. Okay. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. 
This is a lot of poems that have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can really be powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Um, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I, oh my God, I need to turn my phone off. <laughs> I guess you could say that I have some kind of empathy recently. Epiphany, oh my God. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a, spe on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, message. Phew. I guess that's everyone. Ooh, thank gosh. I glanced around the room. That's a little bit more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if it's just being nice, there's no way my poems could stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chattering. My eyes land on Yuri and Nesuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, what, what kind of word is that? I watch each of their expressions change. Nesuki's eyebrows furry in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Nasuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. I couldn't read Nasuki's at all. <laughs> cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? I know that. She didn't read that poem. I just meant the language, I guess. You lying. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try and ha you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really don't come out nice at all. Um well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Ooh. Which people did, by the way. Siori liked it. And Cece did too. <laughs> what do you add me into this? So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all. Ooh, not the first of all. Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing skills. Style. Oh my gosh. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. <laughs> and Cece liked my poem too, you know. Why are you bringing me into this? I'm just... I can't live. <laughs> he even told me he was impressed by it. Nasuki suddenly stands up. What happened to the music? Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress your new member, y Yuri. And that's not, that's not what I, uh, you, you just, Yuri stands up as well. Uh-oh. Maybe you're just jealous that CC appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Ooh. Huh? And how do you know he doesn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, no. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. What's wrong with the music? I'm scared. You, uh, um, is everyone okay? There about to be a girl fight over here. Somebody, come stop, stop, stop these girls. Well, you know what? 
I wasn't the one whose boobs at magically grew a bigger size as soon as Cece started showing up. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> that, Nasuki! Um, Nasuki, this a little... This doesn't involve you. Oh, oh. I don't like the fighting guys. I don't either. I don't want to be a part of this. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Uh, Cece. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate the simple writing more, is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Oh God. What's the point in making your plan? What's the point in making your poems all con convolt? What? For no reason, I can read that. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, CC. Wait, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. <laughs> it's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoid them. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You don't understand that, right, CC? I mean, you do understand that, CC. Um, well... How do I get dread into this in the first place? Exactly! It's not like I know anything about writing. But whoever, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, of course, that's going to be... That I have to choose? Oh, help me, Sayori. Yes, I, I'm choosing. N Nasuki. Nasuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Yuri? What's going on? But Yuri's expression is more. But Yuri's expression is so defensive that I couldn't bring myself to say anything to her. Sayori? Eh, uh, yeah. Everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can the two of you keep fighting when you're making your friend feel like this? What happens to the music? Cece. Well, that's her problem. It isn't about her. I, I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Ooh. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she's being. Ooh. She would never. It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Nasuki, Yuri. You guys are my friends. I just... I want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Nasuki's poems. They are amazing because they give you so much feeling in just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because it paints a beautiful picture in your head. Everyone's so talented. So why are we fighting? B because. Well. Also. Nasuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. I, I don't know. And Yuri's boots are the same as they were. <laughs> You're looking big and beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they both got quiet. Sayori. Sayori stands trunk for whatever that word is. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Nasuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayori is the vice president. I see why. Oh, child, what's going on? I whisper to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not really good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. So you just sat there and watched? Like you enjoyed that stuff, low key? As president, that kind of embarrassing me. <laughs> nah. It's not like I can blame you. Yeah, I mean, I stood there and watched, too. I was able to... I was, yeah, see, exactly. I wasn't able to say anything, either. Well, I guess that just means Sayori is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You can say that. 
She may be an airhead, but sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. What? That makes the two of us. You can count on me. Monica, says, Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Her such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. Before I can get the chance to talk to her a little more. Okay, everyone. Where's... Do Yuki ever... I mean, Yuri ever come back? It's just about time for us to leave. How do you feel all about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. It, I guess. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Cece, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. I'm glad they didn't make me choose. <laughs> it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. Tomorrow? We gotta do this again? And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Yeah, I don't know. I think to myself. Did I learn a little more about the kinds of poems people like, everyone likes? With any luck, that means I can at least do a bit better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Cece, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Siri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sierra and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Let's just go home, please. Sayori? About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Nasuki. Does that kind of stuff happen often? N no, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't, you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. Are you sure this is the first time they fought? This look personal. I can see why they make good friends with you. Phew! You know, Cece? It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be a... Every day is gonna be so much fun. Sigh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught up with the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, we just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on her shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an intentional, internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do what? I want, I want to go home. Oh. Okay, I forgot what I was to do about this. Um, um, hmm. Oh, cool. I'm just gonna click random words. I don't know what I'm doing. Flower, white, pink, fun, kiss, hope. Uh, smile, joy. Hmm. These words are kind of change a little bit. Like, from the last time I remember, they're all bubbly and cutesy, and now it's like depression, scars, unstable. Like, what's going on? Why is my focus going off? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, shopping. I don't care. Okay. Another day passes and it's time for club meeting already. Well, I'm going to leave this episode right here. I know it's been a while since I played this game and I kind of forgot some stuff, but I'm going to leave it right here. It's, I think this is a good stopping point right here for me because I'm not trying to make these videos a little bit too long. I just want to make it just right, you know, but a lot of stuff has happened today. I mean, like, all this fighting and bickering and arguing, I don't know if it's because of me, the CC, the guy that's in here, or it just, just comes natural with these girls, but I don't know. Sayuri said that this is the first time this happened, but I, I doubt that. They might be fighting all the time, but I don't know. But we're going to leave this episode right here. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow my social media links down below. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.